Welcome back guys, today I just got the final piece to the puzzle that is solving the algae problem over here in the 33 gallon tank. So, uh, before we get into opening up that box and talking about what's inside of it and how it's gonna help this tank even further, let's take a look at the tank because I did a huge trim on the Glosso, kinda cut things down, made it a little bit more uniform. I know I said I didn't wanna do that in the last video, but uh, I really like how it turned out. Besides that, remember last time we added in our Siamese algae eaters, which are currently hanging out back here behind the tree. Let's see if we can't get a little footage of them back here. I might have to switch to the other camera to give you guys some B-roll of those guys. But so far, so good. The algae hasn't been coming back. There's still a little bit of it over here by the CO2, of course. That's a hot spot always for algae. But so far, so good. I think the algae eaters are really helping, but the other things that I changed are definitely helping a lot, you know? Modifying the light, making it a little less intense, and then of course not feeding the tank so much and doing my routine water changes. All of those things have helped this tank out a lot. And it's been, you know, like five or six days since we did the, you know, the initial work and filmed the video on the algae. And so far, if we get in here, you know, there's a little bit of yellowing, still kind of you know, figuring out the best fertilizer routine for this tank, but other than that, things are looking pretty good. Definitely a big reduction in the algae. But remember in the last video, I did mention that we were gonna be adding one more thing, an invertebrate to this tank, and that's what we have here today, courtesy of Flip Aquatics. Guys, if you don't subscribe to Rob's channel, I'll put a link for it down in the description. If you're into shrimp, anything, you know, invertebrates, uh, they're getting into nano fish as well. Really cool channel, so I highly recommend you go and sub to them if you haven't. And of course, go check out their website if you're looking to get some awesome, awesome shrimp for your next tank. We've also worked out a deal where you guys can get 25% off of a mono shrimp from the Flip Aquatics website. If you're interested, use the promo code AMANOPROS25. Here we have 50 Amano shrimp, guys. I know you can't see them very well here, but you will in just a second. These guys are absolutely awesome at eating algae and helping to maintain a planted tank. I love these things. I've had them before many times, but currently I don't have any in any of my tanks. And I'm really excited to get a hold of these guys. This is a lot, okay? So we are gonna put all of them over here into the 33. And then as we set up a few more tanks, you know, we'll pull some out and move them and use them in some of the other aquariums that we're gonna be setting up because they are super, super, super useful. They hold a lot of value in helping to keep a tank nice and clean and free of algae. Sorry for the mess down here, guys. You know how it goes. But here we have our shrimp down here acclimating in a five gallon bucket. And of course, we're gonna drip acclimate them. Shrimp can be fairly sensitive to, you know, total dissolved solids, you know, all just basically water hardness parameters, things like that. So we're gonna do it the correct way and we're gonna do a drip acclimation for several hours. And so we just have some airline tubing that is kinked right here to slow down the flow. And you can see the, the rate of the drip. I think that's gonna work out pretty good. And then of course it's linked up here at the top of the tank. And to prevent you know too much from going in, I just have it barely in there. And so hopefully this isn't more than five gallons or else we're gonna be in trouble. But hey, sometimes you gotta take a little bit of a risk. There's of course better ways to do it, but I gotta get going here. So when we come back later tonight, we'll add the shrimp and we'll take a closer look at them. All right guys, it's like 11 hours later and you can see I took a little bit of extra precautions before I left the house, just in case my calculation of how much water was gonna end up in this bucket was wrong. And luckily everything is okay. Let me go ahead and turn the tank lights on and we'll get these shrimp into their new home. We got all 50 of these guys in here, and they're about to do some serious work on this algae, but you know, it's been a long day, not only for me, but for these guys 
in their acclimation period and I think we're gonna go ahead and turn the tank lights back off and we'll pick this back up tomorrow and we'll check these guys out and talk a little bit more about them and why they're so good at eating algae and why I like these guys so much. All right guys, so it's actually been about a week and a half since we last saw this tank. We got interrupted by the whole Chicago trip. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you do. We got to check out some really awesome aquascapes and get some cool interviews. But anyway, I think that's kind of a good thing that we had a little bit more time in between that because now we get to really see the effect that the Amano shrimp and the other algae eaters have had on the tank. If we back up and look at the addition of the algae eaters as a whole, not just the addition of the Amanos, we can get sort of a better timeline of what they were able to accomplish. And so let's see if we can zoom in on some of the shrimp. I think I see one over here on the Glosso carpet. There's one doing some work. And then we have a lot that hang out up here on the Anubius tree. There's a couple up there. And then there's always some down here that are cleaning the wood portion of the tree. So overall, I mean, there is very little algae in this tank. It's, it's hard to find. And so if we, again, if we zoom out and we think about the entire process as basically like two weeks or maybe just call it three weeks total, uh, we've seen basically a, a huge reduction in the algae and that's exactly what we wanted. So again, we started by adding in the Siamese algae eaters and they started to do their thing, but there was still, you know, a noticeable amount of algae in the tank. And then about a week later, we added in the Amano shrimp, the 50 Amanos to this tank. And then we were gone for a week and we come back and the tank is, is looking fantastic. After we added the Siamese algae eaters, we saw a big reduction in the algae that was over the Glosso carpet. All the stringy stuff that was there, they did a lot of work down there. But we still had quite a bit of algae, some fuzzy stuff up here on the Anubius. And I think the biggest thing that we've seen is a complete reduction in all of that. I mean, it's basically, it's basically gone at this point. If we zoom in and check out these leaves, they're all super clean and everything is looking really great, and I think I owe that to the Amanos. Again, you know, the team of the Amanos and the fish, the Siamese algae eaters, have worked together to deal with this problem, but, I mean, the Amanos came in and just basically, you know, multiplied everything by 10, okay? And so, everything in the tank is looking really good, and I'm very happy with the results. Amano shrimp are native to Japan where they hang out in streams higher up in elevation and this is where they reproduce and spend the majority of their life. They were introduced to the hobby and made popular by the late great Takashi Amano. If you guys haven't checked out some of his books and just, I mean, any content on Takashi Amano and what he's done for our hobby is amazing and I highly recommend you Google search his name if you haven't heard of him. You need to know about him. He's a huge, huge influence in our hobby and uh, and very much probably the biggest celebrity um, I I as far as planted aquariums go um, but he introduced these to the hobby and they are fantastic he kept them for a reason and that was because they're so good at eating algae guys I mean amongst other reasons they're you know they're hardy they're fantastic they're fun to watch I mean they get you know bigger than neos you're looking at a max size of about two inches on these guys and they just do a phenomenal job in the planted aquarium. You're not gonna have any luck breeding these guys successfully in your aquarium because the eggs require a brackish water. What happens in, in nature is that they spend most of their life in fresh water. They'll uh, develop eggs, the eggs will be released, and then they'll float down into brackish and you know even seawater where they will then develop into babies and they'll eventually come back to the freshwater environment and spend, spend their lives there eating algae and other things. And so you can breed these guys, you have to, you know, remove the eggs and do a whole thing. I've never done it before, but it, it's definitely possible. People have done it. You can do some more research on that if that's something that you want to get into. But just having these guys in your tank, uh, it, it's not going to happen. But that's okay, you know. That's okay for a lot of us. Again, you know, we have 50 in here. If we had a hundred more, it might be a little crazy. But, I mean, I wouldn't really hate that either. The more the merrier when it comes to these awesome algae eaters. 
Now, because we have the algae problem more or less fixed in this tank, it's time to start adding some more cardinals. Remember, I have a bunch out in the 125. I also have some rummy nose tetras that I think I wanna introduce into the tank. Not 100% sure yet. We can always put them in and take them out if we don't like the way things look but I think it's time to start doing that. So in the next episode of this tank, if you will, we'll be adding uh, more fish to the tank and try and get an even better schooling effect going on. A big thanks once again to Flip Aquatics for hooking it up with the 50 Amano Shrimp. And don't forget guys, if you're interested in getting some of these guys, you can use the promo code AMANOPROS25 and get 25% off as many Amano Shrimp as you want to buy from Flip Aquatics. So uh, don't forget to check that out. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we upload the next video. Thanks again guys and we'll see you later.